Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. So, uh, you read the title of this video correctly. Tony Khan is currently saying that there are WWE bots currently trying to criticize him, and he's saying that, oh yeah, they're just bots, they're not actual real people. And... <sighs> you had to have guessed that, yes, I will most likely be covering this, so found an article talking about this, so let's get into this and see what exactly the man is trying to say, because I'm kind of confused with what he's trying to say. So, it says here on Forbes.com that AEW President Tony Khan took to Twitter on Friday to denounce many anti-AEW accounts which he claims aren't real individuals. <laughs> that they aren't real, a lot of them aren't real? Dude, okay. Uh, yeah. According to an independent study. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is already sounding bad. In a Twitter thread that was ultimately designed uh, to, to promote tonight's AEW Rampage, Khan tweeted an independent study has confirmed that much of the staunch anti-AEW online community aren't real individuals. It's a staff running thousands of accounts, plus an army of bots to signal boost them. Look closely. These aren't real people who'd pay for such a wildly expensive thing. Um... Jesus Christ. Oh my god. This is this is already kind of sounding bad for Tony Khan. <laughs> he does he he's kind of starting to sound stupid. I I am getting what a lot of people are saying now because I heard a lot of people saying that he's sounding stupid. I'm starting to kind of get that now. Um of course Khan is strongly implying that WWE with its vast financial resources has employed an army of burner accounts to promote to promote anti-AW narratives which wouldn't be the first time something like this happened in sports and or entertainment. Hmm. Ever wonder why so much of the activity of these accounts is retweets and replies? Like, who actually has 80% of their activity as straight-up retweets? Khan continued in the thread. In a tribal and divisive America, um, pro wrestling, often a microcosm uh, of society, has mirrored that some dynamic amid the wrestling war between WWE and AEW. This has been most evident when it comes to discourse between the two fan bases on social media. Many members of the wrestling media have planted their flag one way or another, with AEW critic Jim Cornette representing an ardent old-school sentiment, while Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer newsletter has been something of a champion for AEW. The two venerable wrestling personalities, both in their 60s, ended their long-standing friendship due to their differences of opinion on AEW, Proving you're never too old to fight over wrestling takes. Holy shit. Damn. Well, they're not wrong on that part, so. Khan has been a colorful, if not polarizing, personality on Twitter, and his latest claim is sure to drum up spicy conversation and more IWC infighting among wrestling fans. Oh boy. Is that true? So. Just reading that first sentence I found on this website, he's obviously sounding like an idiot. And plus, I will say this. Even though he created a really great company, he's a really good owner. He's been, like, treating AEW perfectly. Like, hell, he, he brought back CM Punk. I can't take that away from him. The man was able to bring back a man, another man who never really wanted to wrestle. So I'll give him that. He did a good job when it comes to bringing in good wrestlers. Like CM Punk, for example. That's one of them. Adam Cole, very recently. Brian Danielson. Uh, Tony Storm. And then Jeff Hardy. Like, and he reunited the Hardy Boys. Like, he's been doing a really good job at AEW, but I will admit, he does sound like an absolute idiot at times. Even on the social media. Even when he comes out to, like, cut a promo out in the ring, like, when he made that Ring of Honor announcement, I will admit, like, he did sound kind of stupid. Like, even though he's really good being an owner of a company, he's just, like, he sounds stupid sometimes. So, yeah, man, th those are my thoughts. So, post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this. And, um, if you enjoyed this, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, and if you know anyone that's a fan of um, pro wrestling, or AEW specifically, you should send this video over to them, because they might have a good time watching this. Also, come follow me over on Twitch and Discord, I'll be putting the links to those in the description down below. So, uh, so yeah, until then guys, I will see you all later, and goodbye!